Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys a simple and easy technique how to get a little bit more pop onto your images. As you guys can see at the moment I do have an image of myself here and it looks quite flat and over here on the right hand side as well we've got original layer here at the top so I'm going to switch that off and that is our after. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys quick and easy how to get your image from this to look like this. So today it's also going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do the tutorial like I used to do with doing all the techniques. I will most probably just run you guys through my complete PSD file and talk a little bit about what I actually did and show you guys all the way through the PSD file. So get from this to this. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do just with my original layer here, I'm going to delete it and also just turn off my final layer and we're going to open our first group which we don't have down here which is our original. Then we also have retouch and cropping and we have tuning and then our final layer. But let's start with our original down here. I'm going to switch that on and that was my first shot straight out of the camera. So you can see over here the pink is quite flat. I'm also very saturated and everything lacks just a little bit of pop. Okay, so let's go over here. This is my new camera raw adjustment. So over here you guys can already see what I created from just adding this image into camera raw and adjusting my sliders in camera raw. So over here it pops already a little bit. So let's go into camera raw and just have a look. I'm going to double click here onto my smart object and let's have a look what we're going to get in camera raw. Okay, over in camera raw, what we're going to do here, first of all, you can see all my sliders are already tweaked and the image looks really good. I'm going to go over here on the right hand side and just say camera raw default, select that and then also it's going to switch back again to our defaults. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, everything is set to zero and our temperature is also at 5350 Kelvin. Then my sharpening about my details here is also set to 25 and 1.0 so it's very low let's go back to our basic adjustments here and I'm quickly going to load these adjustments again so let's go to load settings and I've saved these settings already for pop tutorial under here double click on that and directly changes okay so what have we changed over here first of all my temperature I changed that to around 5000 so just to make it a little bit cooler then my exposure didn't tweak that at all contrast I tweaked that a little bit just to give the blacks a little bit pop so plus six over here my highlights I boosted them quite a lot so they already pop a little bit more shadows and just tweak that down a little bit so we get a little bit of more detail or darkening these shadows here a little bit then also my whites again push those a little bit so the highlights pop again a little bit more my blacks also tweak them down a little bit so the shirt gets actually a little bit darker and also more contrast here then also to take out the red saturation out of my face a little bit over here I tweak the saturation a little bit to minus four Okay, so that was all here in the basic slider, then also in my sharpening like I showed you in the tutorial before. My sharpening up again to 60, I actually want to take that to 70. Okay, and my radius 0 0.6, we can also take that to 0 0.5. Okay, then we're going to hit OK over here and then I've taken that directly into Photoshop. So that was our first stage that I actually did in Camera Raw over here again as you guys can see the before and then Camera Raw after. So we already created a little bit of a pop in Camera Raw. Okay so let's minimize the original folder here and let's go over. Then I created another new image here with a, I just duplicated my original layer here my Camera Raw layer and I rasterized that layer which you can do via right click and just hit rasterize layer over there. Then I just crop that layer with our crop tool and just place it into a better position. Then I duplicated that layer again to say retouching over here. As you guys can see now, I just used the healing and cloning tool to retouch a little bit of my face, taking out those pimples and also all the scars or whatever, all the things that I have. Over here, as you guys can see, now it looks a bit cleaner. Then I duplicated that layer, I think again. Nope, I didn't duplicate that again. What I did after that was I created my first little layer here, increase the contrast. So first of all, just to give that again another pop, I just added a levels adjustment layer over here. And I tweaked, as you guys can see over here, my sliders just a little bit up to the midpoint to 0.92. And also here I boost my highlights quite a lot again. So as you guys can see th what the different does already, I just boosted the whole image a little bit so the whole image pops a little bit. 
Okay, then you and obviously because of doing that, my whole saturation goes up again and everything gets very saturated. So I added another hue and saturation layer over here. Let's turn that on. And that is basically set also under your adjustments here. And I've just added a little bit of a red desaturation. So I went into the red channel over here. And then with my hue and saturation over here, took my saturation to minus 4. So it's just tweaking the reds that are actually in the person or in myself here. So just to take that out and desaturate the whole body a little bit. Okay, then I added another increased contrast as you guys will see now. Uh, if I'm switching it on and off, you guys can see how the whole black here a little bit, but also on me, it pops a little bit more and I just get a little bit more contrast. So I've added that increased contrast here with a also a black and white adjustment layer. Simply go here onto black and white. I selected that. And then um, what I did is I went into my presets again under blue filter. And also switch that layer to a normal soft light. So over here under your blending options, switch that to soft light. And then now the very important part, as you guys can see, the, in the contrast is very, very intense. So what I did is take my opacity down to, say, 10%. Have a look. Okay. That boosts the contrast already a little bit. And then I took it up, I think, up to, yes, 18% opacity. Let's just delete this layer again. So as you guys can see, increase that with just the blue filter via the black and white adjustment layer. Okay, so that was my boosting up just the contrast a little bit. And then I went over to highlights and pop just to give my highlights a little pop again. I know they pop already a little bit, but if you increase that a little bit more, your image pops even more. So what I did here on my highlights and pop another adjustment layer just with levels as you guys can see, but I created a mask. So very simple, let's let's turn that on and just have a look. So over here you guys can already see how stuff pops again. Just watch on the shirt and also the highlights and the face, a little bit on the arms, all of that pop again. So if I turn that on and off and on and off, you guys can already see the difference just in my face, that pops a little bit more again. So very simple to create that, simply just go again to your adjustments, then over here your adjustment layers. And now we have adjustment levels layer over here. What I'm going to do now is just take my highlights here again and boost them a little bit, okay, until I'm happy. So over here, my highlights completely boost over the whole image. What I'm going to do is press Command E to hide all of that again. And now take my brush over here with a very soft brush that I can do with Control Alt together, hold those together, and then go up and down. You guys also won't see it now because our opacity is down. So let's set that to 100. And now... Over here, my brush is super, super soft, okay? And also my opacity of my brush, I'll set that to around 20%. And then on that layer, I would just paint in my highlights that I actually want. So over here, painting that in a little bit and a little bit more. Okay, and let's have a look what happens. Okay, and that boosts a little bit already. And you could also work uh, most probably with a 50 opacity brush over here. Okay, so that was very simple. That was my technique how to create this pop layer over here. Let's just delete our new layer. And over here, the pop layer again, as you guys can see, adds another little pop to your image. Okay, and then I just made a master shortcut command, Alt-Shift-E, and I created a new layer, which is my final layer, as you guys can see here at the top. Okay, so let's minimize stuff again. What I did after that, I just spaced everything into groups. First of all, created the original group just with my camera raw and original shot again. So we have everything spaced and more organized in your PSD file. Over here, then I minimized that. And then I took everything into retouch and crop. You don't need to create so many new layers. I just did for the tutorial now. Okay, then also space that into retouching and cropping over here, another group. And then my final group that I always do in mostly of my PSD files, I always create a tuning group where I just tune my image so I know everything is in here just to give that a little extra wow. Okay, and then our last layer over here again with our master shortcut and that was all. Okay, so that was my quick tutorial. Hope you guys learned something from it. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching and see you all in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.